Football legend at St. Arantes do Nascimento, who is regarded by many as the greatest player of all time, has died at the age of 82. Pele, as he's popularly called, died at the Albert Einstein Hospital in Sao Paulo following a battle with cancer, and tributes have been pouring in for the football icon. Pele is the only player to win the FIFA World Cup title three times, and his first triumph came at the age of 17 when he scored twice in the final to defeat host country Sweden. Pele never looked back after that, and he is the joint highest goalscorer for the Selecao of Brazil, with 77 goals to his name alongside Paris Saint-Germain forward Neymar. The passing away of the icon was announced on his official Twitter handle with the message, Inspiration and love marked the journey of King Pele, who peacefully passed away today. Love, love and love forever. Pele was born on the 23rd of October 1940 in Brazil. He joined Santos at the age of 15 and got invited to the Brazil national team at 16. Pele won over 30 titles for club and country, including three FIFA World Cups, and he was named the player of the 20th century. Now, joining me to look back on Pele's impact on world football and indeed of all sports is Afrosport TV News Director Deji Omotoibo. How are you doing? Very well, Osirami. I mean, it's, it's, it's... <laughs> I grew, um, those of us that grew up in the 60s and 70s, Pele was the name every young footballer wanted to bear. Number mm. 10 was what you wanted to wear. You know, so um, everybody will, will go some time. 82, he's had a good innings. He's not a young, he didn't die young. He lived a full life. Mm. His impact on world football, though, is immeasurable. You know, Pele was the first real football global superstar. And he came at the time with Muhammad Ali. So these two black men, talented athletes, became international celebrities, and they transcended their sport. Um, so Pelé, three World Cups, um, so many records, such a charming personality, um, is a huge loss. No wonder the whole world appears to be mourning his legacy. I mean, no disrespect to Pelé, but do we, do we, it's almost unfathomable, but do we see anybody even living up to half of what he has done from the current uh, plethora of players we have right now? Like, like, like I tweeted last night, um, you can, you know, there's always this continuous goat debate. Greatest of all time. You can argue about the goats, but there is one undisputed king, and that's Pele. Pele was the only footballer that was actually crowned king of football. You know, even in Nigeria, the civil war in Nigeria, I think it was 68 or 69, um, there was a truce for two days because Pele mm -hmm. came to play. So that's the kind of impact he had. And like I said, it was the first truly football, global sporting icon, not only football, sporting icon maybe alongside... Muhammad Ali at the same time. And you know, at that time there was this emancipation of the black race, um, the awareness of uh, racism and all of that. And this gentleman um, just epitomized what a black athlete could achieve and could do. So it was a real, real renaissance in the minds of and it was a great inspiration to many, many young, young players. Um, just before I let you go, I mean, I, I didn't grow up watching Pele, but of <laughs> course I did watch, you know, videos on YouTube and I saw mm. a lot of immortalized moments and the reason why he has been crowned or was crowned mm. or will forever be the greatest of all time. And I mean, I did see the magic he, he uh, performed against Italy in 1970, mm. but mm. which of his, um, which of the matches, which of the goals scored, which of the dribbling, which of the passes is engraved in your memory? You know, you can never run away from that 1970 World Cup, that run. To the final and in fact the one what was ingrained in your memory was, was an instant and he didn't even score you know he saw the dummy the goalkeeper went this way he, he missed the chance but the thinking the but that 1970 world cup the entire team uh, has been regarded as probably probably the best football team that ever played on the surface of the island don't forget those times when they were playing uh, strikers were not pro as protected as they were today so Pele, such a terrific icon, sad to see him go, but he's lived a full life, he's inspired so many, and um, it was a blessing to watch him play. Yeah, and he will, of course, forever live in our hearts. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Thank you.